is medicine's cutting edge this afternoon. Maintaining sterility is hard enough in a modern operating room. Imagine the challenge in war zones or disaster areas without electricity or clean water. Sterilizing surgical tools is terribly difficult. But a local doctor, James Bernstein, has come up with a clever way to sterilize surgical equipment without electricity or water. And he joins us this afternoon. Doctor, great to have you here. Nice Thank to be so here. Everybody knows sterile is important. You want to try and cut down the, the risk of infection, of contamination, wherever you possibly can. It's hard enough in an operating theater, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's also very hard in the developing world, where 60% of the people have no electricity, so they can't sterilize instruments. So when they have an operation, unlike Fairfax or Washington, they get wound infections, surgical site infections, and anywhere solves that problem. Sometimes the... Uh, the notion is, well, you dump alcohol on it or you hold it in a fire or something like that and, and you can make it good enough for surgery. Well, sometimes good enough isn't good enough. No, good enough is not good enough. You are a big incubator. Okay, disinfection, <laughs> disinfection kills most of the bacteria. But we put a few bacteria inside of you and you are a great incubator. They multiply and you get an infection. Sterility kills them all. So in order to take care of this big incubator, we have this device over here, and, and we're going to bring it over so that you can get a look at it. And what we're basically talking about is something that appears to be sort of a, a, a case, and there you see it right now. And it is a case, but it is also something else entirely. When we open this thing up, uh, you've got some surgical instruments in here, and we'll just take a look. There's a, a syringe and a, and a couple of, of uh, things like that, uh, of sterile field, that kind of a deal. If I needed to operate with this right now, can't do it. You can't do it. So, But you came up with a way to do it. So explain what it is. So we take the case. We close it. And many of you, I'm sure, have seen the little ampules that you make soda water with. Sure. This, this cartridge right here of, of uh, uh, some sort of a compressed gas in there, right? And it's all we do is we put it there like that. And we screw this thing down. And if you put your ear to go here, it goes shh. And it blows the gas. There you go. There you can hear it. And it sits for an hour. After an hour, we open it up, and we're good to go. What is in that? What's that gas? The gas is a very common gas called nitrogen dioxide that comes out of the exhaust pipes of cars, out of the smokestacks of power plants. It's very well understood. But until very recently, no one studied it as a sterilant. So now we know that it sterilizes very well. And you can even take your wristwatch or your iPhone and put it in there. It doesn't damage it. The advantage of something like this is it's completely portable. It's also inexpensive, right? We like to say at Anywhere that we're doing a few things. One of the things is we're trying to be extremely affordable instead of extremely expensive. We also consider ourselves to be global diplomats because we're taking American technology around to the developing world. We're also collaborative, building networks, so we consider ourselves collaborative capitalists. And, and finally, we are a very good example of social impact investing, doing very good things, big things for billions of people. Dr. Bernstein, if people want more information, where's a good place for them to go? They just need to go to our website, which is anywheresterile.com. That's E-N-I-W-A-R-E. Dr. Bernstein, thank you so much. My pleasure. Thing, right? I appreciate it. Thanks for bringing this bar, sure. giving us a demonstration. Let's get a check on the forecast right now. Uh, Devin Luce is standing by.